Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Hello guys, this is Brandon Haverilla from Red Max Entertainment, and today we're back and we're taking a look at the 3D visualizer in MyDMX 3.0. Now we've seen the 3D visualizer in MyDMX 2.1 before, and this is very similar. It's the same kind of easy view software, however there are a few changes just from you know, previous updates that may make it a little confusing if you're not familiar with this new software. So of course to use the 3D visualizer first off you have to purchase the software upgrade from dmxsoft.com for your DMX dongle so that you can have that feature. Now what I've got here is a little show file I patched up two focus spot 3Zs and four 5P hex parkans so we can make like a little show stage kind of thing. So what we're going to do is go to tools and 3D visualizer now once 3D Visualizer opens up here, you will see my fixtures are patched in and right now, if I switch over to the Edit tab, you'll see my scenes I programmed. Some red, some blue, um, and some blue slash green. So we're going to mess around with these and move the positions once we can see them in this 3D space and once we set them up the way we want them. So first things first, if you noticed, um, when I'm clicking around here, the 3D visualizer is always staying here. That is this button right here. If you'll see in the bottom left corner when I click that button, it says keep this on top and then remove this from the top. So you're going to want to keep it so that the arrow is facing down. And what that's going to do is allow you to click around without this window going away. You'll notice when I turn it on with the arrow up, as soon as I click around that 3D visualizer goes away and that's going to be a pain to keep opening back it up. So that's just a life saver, <laughs> time saver um, when you're using the 3D visualizer. So first things first, we're going to want to take a look at this 3D visualizer interface, the 3D space, and we're going to want to move our fixtures the way that we want them to appear in visual space. So the way I want to do it is have one uh, focus spot right here, one focus spot over here, and the four pars spaced a little more across the middle of them almost like hanging off a truss and they're going to be aiming at a stage here and then the moving heads can be aimed at the stage and then for one scene we'll move them away at the crowd so to get started doing this you're going to want to click these three boxes here this is called the builder view and this is going to give you a top view a front view and a right view of the 3d space as long as uh, as well as this 3D kind of access view that we were looking at before. So the 3D access view we're going to keep just about here for now. And what you're going to want to do is over here at fixtures, you'll see the fixtures you patch in. Now to do this, it might be easier to make this full screen unless you have a bigger screen so that you can see all the information they have here for you. But basically, you're going to want to go to your fixtures here. Now right now all of them were selected. You'll notice if you hold shift and press them, you could select multiple. If I want to move all these at the same time, I could hold shift, click, and I'll get all of them. Or I can command click and just grab two of them that are spaced apart. So that's helpful when, you know, if you're setting up a 3D visualizer for a stage where you've got, you know, 17, you know, 5P hex lights, you know, you're going to need, you know, you're going to want to be able to move all of them at once. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this focus spot right here except we're gonna wanna move it back towards me towards the crowd a little bit so we're gonna grab this blue arrow that's the direction we wanna move it and we're gonna pull it back to this next line here okay now we're gonna do the same thing with this one we're gonna get them in about the same axis and again you could see all this over here in the 3D view so you could see that we're a little off still and you could pull it from here you could pull it from all directions now with that done we want to pull it the opposite way now so we want to pull it by this red arrow pull it across to the other side of the stage right now we're gonna spread these out a little bit so let's select the other fixture grab the red arrow push it the other way that's a super easy way to move stuff around in 3d space now what I was doing is based off the top view this is looking down at the stage but you could also move it according to the, to the front view and the right view depending on where you want these things to be spaced so now with our park hands what we're gonna do is select all of them hold shift and click all of them and then we're gonna pull them back a little bit not too much we want them slightly off access 
um, or at least I do for this show. And then what we want to do is you'll see right now they're aimed at the ground. We want them aimed back here in this corner, kind of aimed at the stage, washing the stage. So what we're going to do is shift click all of them. We want to grab all of them at once. And then we're going to, you'll see these little arrows here are going to rotate them in different directions. So you're going to want to grab this one till it's, you know, aimed at the right spot. Now the next way thing I want to do is I want to grab the outside one and I want to grab the last one. So I'm going to command click, grab the two of them, and I want to fan them out a little bit. Now you'll notice if I just try and fan them out, they're both going to go in the same direction. So what I'll do is I'll fan one, and then I'll go back to the first one and actually just fan it around in a circle to the other side, and I passed it. There we go. And now you'll see that we have a nice stage wash of the four par cans. So we've covered the two sides and the middle. Okay, we're almost there. Now, let's take a look at the visualizer um, before we edit our scenes and program our scenes that way. Let's take a look at these visual settings. So the first one is the ambient lighting. Do you want it pitch black in here for your scenes or do you want it bright out? You know, and you could totally adjust that depending on what fixtures and depending on what kind of room you're in so you could really see what it's going to look like. So we're going to keep it kind of dark for this one. The next one is going to be beams. So the beams is pretty much like how much light you're seeing from it. Um, and it's kind of like a, you know, like a haze type control. Um, it's kind of how much, how far of the beam you're seeing, how much of it. So we're going to keep those, you know, about three quarters of the way so we could see them, but so that they're not unrealistically sharp. Um, then the next one is fog. So you'll notice when we turn this on, you'll see the fog kind of waving through them. It makes for a really realistic type fog beam visual display. Um, it also puts a little tax on your graphics card, you know, um, so if you're experiencing trouble um, with the way this is running, it might not be good to, you know, crank that fog up, but it definitely makes it realistic uh, moving through the beams. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm actually going to bring it down to about three quarters of the way too, so we still have it moving around there. And now we're pretty much set, so I'm going to click back here out of the build view. Now we have a full window of it. And what I'm going to do is just grab the corner and drag it up to right about here. So I could still see my, my sliders and my editors. And I'm actually going to move it over a little bit and slide it down so that I can access the ends of my scenes here. And what the scenes will do is I'll, you know, I'll switch around and move them. So I've got a few scenes plugged in here. And what I'm going to do is blue wash. So what I want to do is grab the focus spots, right? I want to highlight both of them. This is more of like a programming tip, but I want to show you guys with the 3D visualizer. So I'm going to put them to the pan that I want. And then I'm going to spin them around to where I want them on the stage. I'm going to use the arrow keys to get a little more precise. And let's say I want them right there. Perfect. Now let's go to the red wash. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to get the pan to about where we want it. I made the tilt, and then now we're going to do the pan. We'll keep these a little lower on the stage. Excellent. And now we're also going to grab... Uh, we'll go to the blue crowd one now. So now we're going to want the tilt to be about the same but we're going to want them aimed at the audience here. So you'll see I want it spinned around like this. Now I'm not going to go into too much of the effects and stuff, but now what we're going to do is grab both these focus spots and we're going to make some kind of cool effect just like this with them. Now with that said, we're going to leave it just like that for now. Um, so we've got our four scenes programmed here. Okay. And one last thing that you can do, um, hanging these upside down and stuff, if we go back to the build window um, and you go to fixtures, right, you can choose the fixture you're using. Say we want to, you know, focus spot. When you scroll down here, you can invert the pan and tilt. So that could be super helpful, you know, if you're hanging the light upside down. 
just gives you more control and it's a helpful property that you can control um, as well. So with that said, we're pretty much all set with our 3D visualizer now and we've got it set up the way we want it. These are really the basics of 3D visualizer. You can get really in depth with them. But what I'll do is I'll just show you basically swapping between these scenes and how this works and the way the graphics works and everything. And you'll see, you know, it's pretty much all spot on representation of how I would have these hung up. Um, one thing I would probably do though is, you know, space these apart. You know, you can mess around with the exact positioning. So if you guys are looking to quick start with the Easy View 3D Visualizer, this is the way to go. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you know when future videos are released. And of course, make sure to comment if you have any questions. I have my phone right by me all the time, so I usually answer within a few hours. Hope this helped you guys out. Take care and enjoy.